We are set and ready to go and tip off. It goes right out of bounds and it's going to belong to... The rebounding battle is going to be very important in this game and he was wanting to emphasize that to his team that they need to do that well to win this game. Old Acre, who started the game, the McDonald's All-American for Miami, is already on the bench with two fouls. Ricards with the take to the bucket and the first two points for the Cardinals. Dwyer looking around. They dump it inside. Spearman with great position goes up strong and gets two. Spearman doing a good job of calling for that ball. Oval retains possession. Marissa Russell, number 13 for the Cardinals, checked in. A nice reverse layup up and under for Olivia Cochran. Cochran, the quickness there shown off by Cheyenne Day Wilson. Great team defense from Miami and going right at Cochran, who rejects that one. On the offensive rebound, and Spearman puts it in. By Kiki Jefferson. Jefferson, who is two points away from 2,000 career points, and on cue, there it is. Kiki Jefferson. She has been probably the most consistent scorer on the floor on either of these teams. She can score at all three levels, and you'll see that throughout this game. But I think Coach Meyer is excited to see how she continues to progress. She's still a very young player, and how she can carry them in the second part of the season. Yeah, the way she shined last year made everyone take notice. And there, the big bucket from Nyla Harris. Harris, who went up strong to the hoop. The inbound as Latasha Lattimore into the ball game. Number 35 in white. Going to work is Dave Wilson. Nice spin move, jumper, floater in the lane. And for this Miami group. Another transfer from Duke. Was the ACC Rookie of the Year a couple of years ago and can score in bunches. Scott Height, that is a point of emphasis for Louisville in this matchup. Nice dish down to Harris. Harris, tough shot, going at it again, rolls around. But their depth, similar to these teams here, their depth at NC State is very impressive. They do have Tania Rivers and Isaiah James who are scoring the ball at a little higher clip than some other players in this game. State Virginia game. Tiffany, how many leagues can say, we've had four games on ACC Network today, every game is featuring at least one ranked team. That, yeah. That's impressive. And this Miami team has seen Lamaya Hilton knock down the three and then the follow up from Dave Wilson. The Hurricanes receiving votes also in the polls. I mean, the ACC stacks from top to bottom as the answer back the other way. Miami has to be careful. They pressed there. They got up in Louisville's face and Louisville beat that press with just a couple of passes. So if you're going to press, you can't let the other team get a layup out of it. Uh, Sydney Taylor is the guilty party. And let's take another look at it here. Reaching. And what a rejection there from Latasha Lattimore. Lattimore with just that length stretching out all six foot four for that wingspan great. Step back three from Dave Wilson and rhythm. Yes, man. Lattimore and then Miami is off to the races. Shy Day Wilson. Both teams shooting excellent in this first quarter, 56% or better. And that one rolls off the rim. But the put back and the follow through from Harris. This Miami team who is perfect at home this season and in fact has a 17 game winning streak, has not lost at home in this calendar year. Tend to go on the shot clock. Williams has to get it in, Ooh. inside of Latasha Lattimore, that was zipped into Lattimore. Great. She looked off the defender. She looked with her eyes like she was going to pass to the top of the key, and then zipped it inside to Lattimore. Well done. Sydney Taylor. Inside to Olivia Cochran, and Cochran gets it to go. Louisville. Excellent execution. You see the back screen set for Olivia Cochran by Jada Cobb. How they want to get inside. And a large percentage of both of their points have come in the paint. The pull up with ease. Jada Curry for three and grabbing the lead right back are the visiting. You cannot lose Jada Curry in transition. She's one of the best three. Dwyer, 
the step back in the lane and gets the friendly bounce. She wanted to go, Tiffany. They wanted to go somewhere warm, and they're enjoying their time at the University of Miami. You know, when you think of it, as Sydney Taylor knocks down the jumper, she was wide open. Of these players on the line in those type of tight situations. Here's Cochran facing up against Spearman. And winning that battle is Olivia Cochran. Big O. And Wilson has had the hand for a portion of this game. They've gotten Spearman involved, but Ali Stedman getting into the action. What could Meyer say? Hey, look, she is due. They called it because of the trip. I'm not sure Sydney Taylor caused the trip, but it's kind of a good foul for Louisville. You prevented a fast break. Layup. A great defense there in the outstretched arms of the Cardinals defender, Kiki Jefferson, and she answers back the other way. Wilson thought about it. Instead, what a tough shot with the hand in her face, but it rattles down. Roberts gets it right back. And makes it a 10-footer. Falls for Jasmine Roberts. Over with a chance to tie or take the lead, and Curry ties it up right there with that land. 37 apiece. That is brutal for Miami and for Old Acre. There's absolutely no rhythm for her right now. She's probably not going to play again until the fourth quarter. That's the last thing you wanted if you're Miami. Well, off the mark, chasing down the rebound is Jasmine Roberts to keep it alive for the Hurricanes. The ball fake comes in a little bit closer, and the 16-footer is true. You know, I have not seen that from Louisville, and that's just a testament to the Cardinals having good practices and being prepared. But it can be a difference. Game shape is a whole different animal. Yeah, good tune-up game before getting into conference play, as that's a long three from Jada Curry. Curry says, no problem about it. My second triple of the game. Here's another look at Jada Curry wearing number 30 with Curry on the back of her jersey, I think. But they've played a lot of college basketball collectively. And you're seeing a maturity with this team. And I've done quite a few Louisville games this year. It's obvious that Jeff Walsh really likes this team. Well, the team that has shot exceptionally well from the three-point line is Miami. And Lache Dwyer adding it to that high percentage total as Curry coming right back on the other side. They talked about that at the start of the broadcast. Hey, look, they are shooting from beyond the arc better than we've seen in a long time. To that point, right there on cue. Getting a lot of good looks from three. They're not forcing it. You see how help side comes down in Nyla Harris. A one point ball game here in the third quarter is Curry with a long two. Her foot was on the line. She's feeling it. You can tell the the basket is looking as big as the ocean to her right now and let me tell you tiffany that is the best feeling in the world when you feel like you can't miss keep shooting it wonderful touch pass from ricards but again great offensive execution and transition and a good job by jada curry right pushing the pace maybe steph curry might be checking out jada curry right now <laughs> You can tell by the way she plays that she loves Steph. And there are so many players of this generation that love Steph, of course. Uh, who doesn't? But you can tell there's some inspiration there. And that's so cool that she got to meet her favorite player. Yeah. And just adjusting from being option A to maybe option B or C, it can be difficult. But she's doing well so far in this game. Louisville turns it over. Good opportunity here for Miami. Under the basket, Jada Patrick goes up and in. And she's fouled. Foul on Olivia Cochran, but this great make here from Jada Patrick. Good job by Jada Patrick. Good job on her to try to get the big inside. And some foul trouble for the Cardinals. On the take and Kiki Jefferson. She's always got somebody on her trying to shake somebody, and she seems to see him go down more often than not. And we've talked about her consistency. That's what she's doing for Louisville in this game with Jaden Patrick. That's what it's been like all game long. One point separates these two teams in this ACC opener. Stolen away. What great her ability to get it done. Just ne not letting up the effort, the easy to Miami. McCards on the inbound. Looking, looking. There's... 
Cochran, and Cochran stepping out and knocking down the jumper. Day Wilson splits through and gets it up and in. They need Shy Day Wilson to constantly look for her offense. Curry had that one deflected. Well, how both teams have fared from the charity stripe thus far. You see the little graphic popping up. 12 of 15 for Louisville. 10 of 14 for Miami. And what a big shot made there. Three ball has come alive here in South Beach. Julia Williams. Six and a half to go in this ball game. Massive three ball from Jalea Williams, who's known for her defensive prowess. And then Louisville comes right back. Of course, Tiffany, this is what this game is going to be. Baseline three, but of course not to be outdone. It's Louisville with a corner three. Stay tuned. More often than not, it's a great game. It comes down to the wire, and it comes down to execution in the final five minutes. Which team can execute better? And there's Miami. Here's Russell once again. Marissa Russell knocking down a couple of three balls here in the fourth quarter. Look at that big three from Russell. Watch Marissa Russell here, how she collects herself. Williams. Ooh, the attack, the little fake there. Finish with the left hand from Julia Williams. Smooth. Fourth person. See what she does here with her eyes. She looks towards old age. Remember she yes. had that excellent pass earlier, the look away to get it and zip it down low. Great point, Tiffany. She has been very good with that. And Marissa Russell. Marissa Russell. Again, do officials normally call that, stepping into your shot? No. So th that's interesting. I mean, textbook, yes, that's a travel. But sometimes officials just let that go. So I think it was a good call of the fourth quarter. And Hilton making a tough shot with the defender in her face. For number one in Cardinal Red. That one rattles around for Nina Ricard. Ricard, who is one for four today. Tiffany, if you had asked me who's going to take the shot for Louisville on this possession, with those five players on the... You've seen 12... Ties and 17 lead changes in this ball game, and the 19th ranked Louisville Cardinals remain undefeated in Coral Gables.